2023 and we are tracking a severe weather threat uh, through this evening uh, for pretty much the entire WHAS 11 viewing area. You can see here on max AC radar and satellite, we've got uh, clusters of showers and thunderstorms developing to our northwest. A couple tornado warnings, uh, one to the north of Indianapolis, one near Bloomington, Indiana. Um, and that is the activity that's going to be heading our way and heading through our region here over the next several hours. And we will time this out with future cast here in just a moment. Um, alongside uh, meteorologist uh, um, Christina San Juan, sorry, and uh, wow. <laughs> storm team meteorologist <laughs> Alden German. Um, we're trying to get our bearings here, or at least I am. Um, so we have a tornado watch until 11 p.m. Just have that family plan ready to go um, in case a warning is issued. If there are any alerts, we will get them right to you on Facebook, um, on whs11.com, on our air, on whs11 as well. We've got our whs11 app. You can also uh, download interactive radar and a lot of tools there as well. Let me go ahead and go to graphics full screen and we'll go ahead and time things out and uh, take a look at what's happening on radar as well. Um, so here we go. This is a, a look at the storms that have been firing up very rapidly. There's a report of baseball size hail in the storm that is under that tornado warning. Um, these are moving uh, pretty quickly as you can see from west to east. So next up Bedford, Indiana. Uh, the storm's going to be heading your direction as a severe thunderstorm warning on it, and then that other severe thunderstorm uh, heading towards Paoli here over the next, say, 15 minutes or a half hour. Much of this activity looks to say north of Louisville over the next couple of hours, but we're seeing some development uh, also off to the southwest. So uh, basically the moral of the story here for the rest of this evening, just uh, be prepared. Have that safe place to go, ready to go, the family plan ready to go. Very busy weather pattern, area of low pressure to our northwest. And uh, a lot of folks are under a threat of severe weather um, over the eastern United States. Let me go ahead and put on the storm prediction centers. Severe weather risk uh, convective outlook here. This is uh, level three out of five for our area. Uh, basically the eastern half of Indiana, western half of Ohio, through central Kentucky down through much of Tennessee, northern Mississippi, and Arkansas. So level three out of five called an enhanced risk. And as we zoom in here, there is a chance for storms that could pack damaging wind, large hail, and we cannot rule out a few tornadoes as well. All right, so again, we're seeing some possibly damaging storms to the north. This broken line of storms has severe thunderstorm warnings and a couple of tornado warnings on it. And we will move over in a future cast and time things out with the high resolution rapid refresh weather model or the HER um, is what we'll switch to. So again, there is the tornado watch that we have for almost the entire viewing area until 11 p.m. To the north, Seymour, Bedford and up towards uh, North Vernon, Jennings County. You guys are under right there along Highway 50 under that tornado watch until 8 p.m. so your threat is going to end a lot sooner. All right so Futurecast is picking up on those storms to our northwest. Notice they do move through southern Indiana here th through the next hour. You can see them just north of Louisville through about uh, 5 5 30. Possible more development here along and south of the Ohio River before sunset. Sunset is now around 9 10 with twilight through about 940. Here are the storms along and south of the Western Bluegrass Parkway around 10 to 11 p.m. And by 11 p.m., it looks like that severe weather threat begins to move off to the south in the east of our area. And then we're left with some pretty quiet weather for tomorrow. Just an isolated shower chance with temperatures in the 80s. So we do have uh, the ingredients for severe weather. We have a lot of unstable air across the region. We have some wind energy as well. Um, some of that wind shear, that, those severe weather ingredients we often talk about. Typically the severe weather threat begins to wind down this time of year, but um, not the case for today. And uh, what we're watching very closely here for you. So we will have WHS 11 newscast coming up at 6.30. Uh, again, we've got Christina San Juan and Alden German here in-house. We also have our storm team uh, meteorologist Reed Yaden out storm chasing with our storm chaser John Humphreys. Uh, they are going to be located in southern Indiana first. 
So this here, let me get, put this product. This is what we call CAPE. This is the convective available energy. So if a storm gets going, how much fuel does it have to possibly become severe? And it is off the charts. We've got a lot of energy. Obviously, it's hot. It's humid out there. The air is becoming uh, very unstable throughout Kentucky, and even despite the round of showers and thunderstorms we had moving through the early this morning. Uh, good to get rain this time of the year. Obviously, we're, we're, it's going to keep us away from a drought. We just do not want the damaging part or the threat of severe weather. All right, let's go back to full screen, and I will put the radar back on. There we go. And Ben, I'm over here monitoring the comments. You have several people thanking you for the update. Um, and then a couple of questions specifically about where people live. We have a few Campbellsville viewers that are asking, which I'm sure you'll cover in future cast. Yeah, it looks like Campbellsville, you're probably looking at around 9, 10 p.m. with that threat heading your, heading your direction. It looks like the weather models, uh, the activity that we're seeing firing up to the northwest of Louisville right now, a little ahead of schedule of what some of the weather models are showing. You see that uh, the severe storms are about 50 to 60 miles off to the northwest of Louisville right now. And uh, let me back this up one hour. So this is where the storms were about an hour ago, and then this is where they are now. So we can easily see that they're moving at about 30 to 40 miles per hour. that out of the way. So based on that, for you folks in southern Indiana right now, we'll put this out from west to east. So here's the track. Let me put that full screen so you can see it. So it looks like uh, next up, uh, Bedford, storm's heading your direction here shortly. Uh, this, you already have some rainfall nearby, but the stronger thunderstorms are out to your west. You might start hearing that thunder pretty soon if you haven't already. Uh, so that time frame's around 425 for Bedford. Uh, Mitchell at about 435, Paoli 445, into Brownstown at about 5, Salem, Indiana 515, into Pekin at about 530, Scottsburg 540, and heads up there in Charlestown, Indiana. Looks like the storms could be heading your direction at about 6 o'clock. And around that time, it looks like the storms could also be getting closer to Metro Louisville. All right, expanding out. Any questions on there, Christina? Um, a few folks still just asking about their specific areas that I have responded to here. A lot of folks just wanting to know if they're under the alert, and I think what they're asking is about the tornado watch. Yeah, so everybody in our viewing area except for Adair County is under the tornado watch until 11 p.m. Now, North Vernon, Seymour, Bedford, you're under that watch until 8 p.m. This is a look at future cast. We'll do this one more time, and then we'll wrap things up, and then we'll just be prepared. prepared a few alerts are issued to go right on WHS 11 and keep you up to date there and streaming on WHS11.com and on our WHS 11 app. So here is around 5, 536. Again, like uh, our storm track just showed you, the storm's heading along the east of I-65 around Madison and uh, Clark County, Indiana, around Scottsburg and getting close to Metro Louisville, 532, 6 p.m. Now these could just kind of blow up and, and some might move off to the east. Then we have some more redevelopment. It's just going to be a, a busy evening here for us, it looks like, uh, with the chance of severe weather. And uh, again, the atmosphere is just ripe for the development of some pretty explosive uh, thunderstorms around the area. Large hail, damaging wind, frequent cloud to ground lightning, heavy rainfall, and it looks like we got a tornado warning that was just issued for a portion of our viewing area. So we're gonna wrap it up here. Stay safe out there, guys. Thanks for tuning in to, yeah, so tornado warning there for Lawrence County, just out to the west of Bedford, Indiana. So stay safe, be ready to seek shelter for warnings issued for your area. That right now is in west central Lawrence County.